Hey guys, this is Caesar from GamerGraphics.com. I'm using ProE Wildfire 4.0, and I'm going to show you how I would blend a, this uh, hydraulic unit. This is basically a cutaway of a hydraulic manifold, um, so it's a small section of one. But it's got some different kinds of blends, um, and I'm going to show you how I would blend this. So the first thing I'm going to do is roll up my model here. So I get rid of my holes because I don't need them right now. And I'm going to add in my blends. So on this one, I'm going to make this one 20 because I need the material between here, this face here, and these uh, switching valve bores uh, for pressure. So I need the wall thickness. So I put a big blend in there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to blend these two edges right here. And then I'm going to blend these corners. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that uh, is because I want to put in a hole constrained to those later uh, through the center of that that arc and I'll show you how I do that later when we get to there, that point so this is how I would create my blend for this little pocket right here uh, all my radiuses are nice and tangent and, and uh, fill out really nicely so we're going to move on to this next section where we have three cylinders that come together and one of the issues I find that people try to do is they try to blend like this using both the bottom and the top of the curve of the intersecting cylinder and this is in my opinion the incorrect way to do it you want to have tangency all the way around this cylinder where they inter where it intersects these two so I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to show you how I would blend it. I'm going to make this 15 and then I'm going to select this one over here. <clears throat> and that basically gives me my tangency at my intersection all the way around. And now I can hit my blend tool and you will see when I put the right radius in that it gives me exactly what I want. Tangency all the way around I got a nice radius right here. Hit OK, and that's done. Now, up here, I see a lot of people make a lot of mistakes on this area right here. Uh, they come in and they say, OK, I'm going to add a 2 millimeter blend to these three and call it a day. Now, the problem that they don't, the thing that they don't understand, they don't understand manufacturing and the the tool they're going to use to machine cannot fit in between these two so what you want to do is you can't use this fillet you have to put material in between these and have a tangency in order for the fillet to follow around because the tool's not going to make it so the tool's going to go around these so in order to accomplish that what I'm going to have to do is now well let me show you something real quick the reason I'm not using face to face is because it errors out. If I hold control and select the other face, make this 10, it will not make this blend. I do not know why. I've tried different radiuses. It just won't construct it. So when I run into problems like that with the blend tool not working, you could use surfaces and build it by surfaces and then merge them and fill it, but <clears throat> you can actually make a use a protrusion to fill this area a lot easier and then blend that protrusion. So I'm going to use these three circles, these three cylinders as my uh, reference. Let me switch this for you. And what I'm going to do is use the uh, arc tool, radius tool. And I'm going to build I'm going to build these tangent to uh, build these tangent to the circles to my construction circles. Okay, so wherever I don't have a tangent, this little tangent mark, I want to make sure that I make it tangent. Okay, and I'm going to make this radius 10. What I'm going to do is when I get these other two done, I'm going to make them all equal so they all change together. So let me grab my radius tool and come over here. I'm 
gonna make this tangent to this. I'm gonna make this tangent to this. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is use my equal radius. And I'm gonna select and make these all the same radius. And now that I have all the same radius, or all 10, now I'm going to use my entity command, my on edge, and I'm going to grab the edges I need to fill my shape. And I'm going to trim those away, trim away the edges I do not need. Okay, so now I have my shapes. And I'm going to exit out of this. and I'm going to flip this and I'm going to make it extrude to the cylindrical surface instead of giving it a thickness or giving it a, a blind depth. So now I have my shape. These faces, it's a, it's a machine block so these faces are not going to be radiused. If it was cast they would probably be radiused but this is going to be like a block of stainless steel or aluminum or um, titanium so they're going, these are going to be uh, machined faces. They're not going to have any radiuses. So the only radius you have left to add is this one right here, which is probably going to be like a two. And that is exactly how I would create my blends for that area right there, because that's how it would be machined. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one last blend. And I have this fill port coming into my bore into an undercut and if I try to add a blend to that edge and I want say I want that blend to be four you'll see that it will not make that blend or it might but you're gonna get a weird edge where they intersect so to avoid that or to avoid uh, moving this hole around or creating another cut what I do is I take my model tree and I roll it up to this hole here and I make sure that this fill port hole is after it which it is and I put in my blends okay now when I roll my model forward you can see that it the hole will cut right through those because it's after that blend which is exactly what you want now they're probably going to have you're probably going to have a break edge in here, a break edge radius, uh, because of the because of the high pressure intersections, you're going to have fractures. If it's sharp, so what they'll do is they'll come in and clean this area up with uh, with a nice radius, and I'll probably make that radius um, like a two or something like that. And there you have it. This is my radius tutorial. Oh, you know, I have, forgot about the hole. Um, I'm going to put in a axis right here using the radial, the radius that I put in here. So no, actually, that radius is too big. Just changing some work radiuses real quick. So I'm going to add in a an axis right here on this surface. Okay, and I'm going to add a hole. Select the face. Do a through wall, and I'm done. Now anywhere that radius goes, the hole stays centered. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. You can download the model to follow along at GamerGraphics.com. Please feel free to leave questions and uh, rate. Thanks.